Shell one, Kahala Yahawa Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rukal Kurdash. Double honors my teacher to the apostle, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect, who the house of David reborn again in this generation. And Shalom to the 130 Asherala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage, we were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about modern day slavery and what it has transformed into today for us Israelites, right? In the past, as you can see here on the left-hand side, we used to be in chains, right? The Northern Kingdom, the Latinos and Native Americans went into slavery under the Spanish, the Dutch, the Germans, right? The Canadians and the Southern Kingdom, the so-called Negroes, went into slavery under the so-called Caucasian race, right? The nation biblically known as the Edomites. Right? And we physically went into slavery under chains of bondage, right? For hard labor, right? And there's many lessons upon that, but this isn't about, you know, the travails of our, you know, past slavery. This is basically going to talk about what the difference with modern day slavery, which as you can see here on the right, it tells you, for instance, modern slaves are not in chains, they are in debt. And if you understand the money system, which the majority of you Akiyam do, right? If, if you're in this truth, you know, you've done a bit of research and, into a little bit of everything. And we even go into, uh, you know, monetary policy and the way money works, right? And one, and, and the reason why is because to understand the type of captivity that us Israelites, us Negro, Latino, and Native Americans are in today, you have to go into the realms of a financial institution, right? Because you see, the modern day slavery that we are under is not hard bondage labor, but it is a tax slave. Right? We are we are workers, uh, you know, basically working to uh, you know clothe and feed ourselves, house ourselves within our own prison, and to build up the system of oppression. Uh, for our worldly masters, right? These Edomites, okay? This is why you wake up uh, and work, you know, nine to five, Monday through Friday, right? Basically 40 plus hours a, a week and you only get the, the weekend, right? Which I've heard it, you know, explain that, you know, that word weekend, it's the, it's likened or it's a, it's likened onto a weekend of the deal. Right, because we have uh, we have to work five days out of a seven day week, and we only get two of those days to ourselves. And for the most part, we end up doing errands or resting up just so we can, you know, be ready for the next week of work. Right, and it used to be even worse than that before. Well, you know, but again, that, that's a whole other uh, lesson there in itself. Because again, the the type of debt that I want to talk about is student loans, right? And the reason why I want to talk about this is because there was a, a, um, a posting on Reddit that explained why Joe Biden, the king of Babylon the Great, right, the so-called president, what's one of the reasons why he just does not want to budge and forgive student debt, right? Well, we'll get into that in just a bit, but before we do that, let's read this. This is Psalms 10 and 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. Right? And this right here is talking about the wicked. Right? The wicked Edomites who are ruling the world. Right? The people who are in power and who use their power to dominate the other peoples of the world. Right? Other nations. Namely, us Israelites, us Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. And by what it says here, this there's a many there's many interpretations to the scripture, but what I'm breaking it down into in this lesson is that the lurking places, in particular with student loans, that this devil is sitting at is in the interest, is in the laws that uh, establish student loans to where they cannot be uh, written off with bankruptcy or or or, 
or uh, you know in that sort sort of effect well why is this done well because there is a there is a lot of money to be made in the college debt system right let's go and read this posting that i that i read right it says um it says uh black americans own 48 percent of all student debt now i'm not saying that that's a major reason why the architect behind the 1994 crime bill wouldn't cancel all student debt but yes i am right and what they're referring to here is joe biden right he, this devil he was behind you know other you know famous litigation that also hurt our people right the crime bill him and uh, kamala harris that helped put a lot of our uh Israelite brothers and sisters away for a long time, right? For doing, uh, you know, you know, certain certain crimes that before would only give them a, a small amount of time, right? Well, these devils um, have have an ulterior motive. Let's go down to the comments here. And read, right? It says here. It says Biden has driven the Democratic, or is this it? Yeah. Biden has driven the Democratic Party so far into the ground that it has given Republicans their largest polling leading going into the midterms in 40 years, right? So that just shows you, man, that everybody's pissed off at this devil, Biden, man, right? That, uh, you know, but that's because this guy was a puppet from the beginning. Nobody really wanted him, man. But this is that false system of Democrat Party, right? This is what they put up. Um, as as their candidate, man, when there was far better other candidates out there. But the reason why they did that is because just like at the end of every empire, they continue to put uh, basically imbeciles, people who are obviously um, wrong for the job in the position to, to steer the country into destruction. And that's ultimately what's happening here, man. Maybe he should start listening to the voters who drug him over the finish line and into the White House and cancel, cancel student debt now. Let me see what this person here, Dr. Wuzu, doesn't, doesn't realize is that this shit is all, all planned, man. They do not want to cancel student debt. And why is that? Because that's gonna be part of the carrot of the New World Order system, the new economic um, and financial system that they're gonna bring out that's gonna be on your microchip, These the, the MOTB. They're gonna give you uh, you know, free college, and they're going to give you a way to um, have your student debt forgiven, right? But you're going to have to sign up for that MOTB, right? That's but until then, they got to make this current system so bad, so broken, so corrupt that everybody's going to run to the new devil-backed <laughs> system. And continuing, this is the point I wanted. Biden was also the architect behind the law which prevents those with student debt from declaring bankruptcy. In fact, trapping young people into debt slavery has been a primary crusade of his over the past 40 years. If Biden is not going to do the right thing, there's only one thing left to do. And that's bullshit because these people aren't going to do anything but vote because they're fucking trapped in a... In a, uh, in a well, revolving will and shit like that and they're gonna continue to vote for his, in a system that's broken but just what that guy said biden for the last 40 years has worked on these bills to entrap these entrap students man and who are who are those students well like it just said man 48 percent are the southern kingdom negroes right the true jews of the bible Right? As you can see here, men hold on average thirty-five plus thousand dollars. Uh Judite women twenty-seven uh thousand, right? And you got over here the northern kingdom, you they hold on average about twenty-seven thousand for the women and about same thing, twenty-seven thousand for the men, right? And again, it's this is this is the system that these devils have set up. And why is that? Well, just like the article said, man, you have labor that needs to be paid for and done by the masses. 
And the way that you're going to do that is you're going to force people into the labor market. Right, right now what's happening is there's a, with the incoming um, inflation, it's causing a lot of disruption to the labor markets. People basically are seeing that what they're getting paid isn't worth what, um, what their time is worth. Okay? And this is why you're seeing a lot of people just not working anymore. Right, saying screw the their debt, screw their credit score, right? Because see, all that credit score stuff, all that you know, um, debt, uh, all that stuff there is all tools to force you to to continue to play in this system of, of debt slavery, right? And again, it's primarily uh, you know focused on the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native American Indians, right? This is why our people are are some of the most uh, affected people who uh, who this falls under, man. This is why these devils don't want to forgive student loans because it's gonna it, it would be a mount to Pharaoh releasing the Israelites right from bondage, and this modern day Pharaoh Joe Biden isn't gonna do that, man, because we keep the system going, right? All this debt, right? When you see your money, your dollars, when when you see what's going on there, that money is no longer based on any precious metal or any uh, commodity. What that money is based off of is debt, right? And the more debt you have in the system, the more valuable that money is, right? And the problem is, is for that money to have value, others have to be indebted, okay? And that's just the way the system works here in Babylon the Great. It's confusion, right? And the reason is, is because it's confusion for the masses but it serves a small few, the people at the very top, these Edomites, the people who actually run the, the world and the banks. This is Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power, right? And so you see, so just as it was true back here in the time of Baruch, it is true today. This is a generational curse that is upon us Israelites, us Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It doesn't matter if we're here in Babylon the Great, America. We could be in Spain. We could be in Germany. We could be in Japan, right? We are going to be in, in some sort of captivity, right? In some sort of uh, debt, Right? We're not going to be uh, free and sovereign as a whole, right? Now you may have, you know, you know, exceptions to the rule. You'll have some Judites who have been blessed, you know, Judites or, or uh, you know, Ephraimites who have been blessed here and there. But that could be either because they've sold out and they're part of the beast system, helping it out, or the Lord had is showing mercy upon them, and they, you know, they're getting a blessing for for their works. Right, for what they've done, right? But again, that's just the way the system works, especially for us Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. This is the wisdom of Solomon, 15 and 12. But they counted our life a pastime and our time here a market for gain. For say they, we must be getting every way though it be by evil means, right? And these student loans that are unforgivable, that you can't write them off, that is evil. Those are evil means. To get rich, when you look um, at a, uh, when you look at how much money is 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 basically given to these colleges, man, I, I know I I work at one, right? It's crazy how much you know debt is given, right? And why is that? Well, because it's all part of Esau's plan is to indenture the future generations of America, so that way you can bring it down to its knees, right? Not only are is Esau indoctrinating the next generation with what he wants them to, to you know, think and believe, but he's also making sure to put a muzzle on them so that way they can't stand up and, and revolt, right? Because they're going to be too busy uh, sitting down and working, you know? This is an old tactic that's worked for many generations in other uh, countries, man. And this is exactly what these devils have, have used as one of the tactics to to uh, enslave or keep our people enslaved, even though it's a secret enslavement, right? Uh, I remember a, a lot of times at camp when we would talk to just, you know, random people walking by and they would say, um, 
you know, we would mention to them that, hey, that they are in captivity till today. They, they look at us with a weird look, right? And they say some stupid shit like, I'm not, I'm not uh, in, this, in slavery. I got money, right? Or I got my own house, you know, right? These people don't realize that it doesn't matter the items that you own, right? Because the majority of the items you own are technically yours, right? There's a, there's a, an IRS law, I believe, that says like whatever you buy using U.S. dollars uh, is, is not yours, right? If you look at Wesley Snipes, the reason why he got pinched is because not that he uh, didn't report his money, but he didn't report the inventory of the money that he had. You see, because the dollars that you actually uh, uh, hold are not your property. Those are the properties of the United States and the IRS, right? And every year they want you to account or, or, or every few years they want you to make an inventory of where their money is, right? And you're simply just holding on to it, right? And whatever you buy with this money is technically theirs, right? This is, this is the, the, the system of confusion that Babylon the Great is built upon, right? This is that old Babylonian magic money or money magic, I guess you could say, right? Where these witches at the top, they get extremely rich off the backs of the people that they're under, right? And it sucks the soul of our people, man, right? This is also another reason why uh, there's um, that parable in Luke about Lazarus and the, and the uh, rich man, right? You see, us Israelites, we are Lazarus in that parable, right? And how it talks about how um, the dogs came and licked his sword. That is talking about the system that Babylon has built and all these other nations coming and basically uh, feeding themselves or, or getting rich off of our backs, right? Either with their convenience stores, you know, charging us excessive amount of, um, you know, money for services rendered. Right? And ultimately, also to these Edomites who are getting rich off of us. Right? And, and it's just crazy when you, can, when, you, when you really get into it. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Right? And that's ultimately my advice and the Lord's advice to you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, man. You know, don't get attached to the system and this system is made to to go down right pretty soon the system will implode upon itself right this is not a self-sustaining system right and if you're trying to keep up with the joneses trying to impress people trying to, to you know get your bag here you're gonna be caught up in that rat race and it's gonna ultimately lead to your destruction and or your pollution plain and just you know plain and uh, simple Right? And again, for a lot of our people, uh, it's already too late. They are trapped up in, in mountains of debt right, to where they're never going to get out, man. That they have been institutionalized even though they're not in the actual prison system. right? They've been institutionalized by being the continual uh, slave uh, to Esau in his system, man, by living off of the welfare that he, he pushes and all that type of stuff. Man. These devils... Have, have built this perfect system that has take, taken us at every corner, man. We are besieged at all our gates, man. And we can no longer withstand ourselves, withstand these devils anymore, man. So much so that we are completely destroyed. And this is why, like it tells you here, man, arise ye and depart, right? So you got to no longer depend on the system, man. Who cares about your credit score? Who cares? About what type of car you drive who cares about what freaking shoes you buy man they're fucking shoes you know it's it's crazy and yeah i know some brothers have some badass shoes and everything and if that's your thing fine man but you know for you know who i'm talking about man those people who are out there always you know wasting their money on nothing but fucking you know vain things man those are the the, the people who are just caught up in this continual rat race of debt and, and showing off and stunting that these devils um, you know, depend on you to, to, to be stuck in so that way they can continue to be on top, right? So again, I just wanted to, to highlight this, man, to show you, man, that this place, even though it may seem like it's a land of opportunity, that in fact it's a, it's a place set in, in, a, in a dangerous location, you know, spiritually, and that it's made to, to uh, catch you up if you're not aware. So, you know, with all that, 
Hopefully this video will edify and knock the next time where you all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, Bashem Rukwak Radash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles, the elders of the Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect, Shalom.